Hi, and welcome to the Audio Design Desk Import Tutorial. To import your own sounds, click Command-I, and our intelligent importer will come up. Here, you can click Add Files, or you can drag files directly in by going to your desktop or wherever your files exist, and dragging them in to the importer. Once your files are in the importer, you can select All and ask the importer to guess metadata. Click All Metadata. The importer has looked at whatever data exists within these audio files. In this case, all that exists are the names of the files. But the importer will do even better guessing if you divide them into folders on your hard disk with category names such as sound effects, sound design, footsteps, and music. You can see that Audio Design Desk has placed about 70% of the sonic intelligence based on these file names. Let's take a look. You can hear that this is a car drive-by. But because the only information Audio Design Desk had to go from was the name Car 5, it knew it was a sound effect and transportation. So you can manually change the subtype by clicking on the subtype and finding Drive-by Car. Audio Design Desk can also guess where the sync marker goes by clicking on Guess Sync. You can also select all by clicking Command A and ask Audio Design Desk to guess all of the sync markers. You can see how it did here. Good. Good. You can go through and manually place all of the metadata that Audio Design Desk doesn't guess for you. Another thing you may want to do is to create elements out of stems. So for example, this stem has a lot of footsteps on it. To create individual elements, simply select the region you want and click the letter U. Go through and do this really quickly. Once you've selected as many elements as you'd like and you're ready to import your sounds, simply click Import to Library. The importer window will ask you if you'd like to create elements and if you'd like Audio Design Desk to guess the sync marker on the elements. In this case, I do. I'm going to copy files and hit click import. Once the process is done, it will bring up all the files inside of a playlist called Latest Import. You can see where Audio Design Desk guessed the sync on all of these files. This way, you can easily select a trigger and find all of the elements that you placed and drag it into that trigger. Now these footsteps are on number one. We'll play back and perform and see how it sounds. Good, let's listen back. Excellent. Another way you can import sounds into Audio Design Desk is by simply dragging the sounds into the timeline. Let's find footsteps, footsteps on wood. And once the sound is in the timeline, you can double click on it to open it in the audio editor. Now, I'm not going to apply all of the sonic intelligence to these sounds, but if you just want to get going quickly from the audio editor, you can do the same process by selecting regions and clicking the letter U. And once you've created enough regions, click on File, Export Elements as Audio Files. I'm going to place these in my Footsteps folder. And again, they'll show up in my latest import. I can now quickly grab these files, apply them to number two, and I can do the next set of footsteps by using number two. And let's listen back. Great. Now as a reminder, I can easily replace the footsteps on concrete I imported first with these footsteps on wood by simply selecting the footsteps on wood and clicking Shift Return. Now let's listen from the beginning. If I don't like one of the sounds Audio Design Desk placed for me, I can click on the sound and click Shift R to find all the rest of the sounds I imported. 
I can click and listen to them one at a time. And when I find the one I like, click return, and it will instantly replace the sound. If I want to give these sounds sonic intelligence later, I can simply select the sounds, right click on them, and say edit metadata. Here, I can select all and apply the metadata to all of the sounds at once. I can say guess metadata, and it guessed footstep element wood. All I have to do is add sneaker and hit save changes. Now Audio Design Desk has given its sonic intelligence to each one of these sounds. These are a few of the ways you can import sounds into Audio Design Desk. We're always here if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks so much.